I see all of my men and women out here doing this uh, this uh, impossible job, and I, I'm, I'm overwhelmingly you know proud of them for uh, for what they're stepping up and doing. We need this flow to to stop. We need uh, folks that want to immigrate to this country to use lawful pathways. This is dangerous for them. It's also dangerous for us. Well, that is the U.S. Border Patrol chief talking about the critical and dangerous situation at our southern border in an exclusive interview with Fox. You saw our own Griff Jenkins there. He is not the only one today who is speaking up and loudly. Republican Senator Roger Marshall introduced a resolution now to designate the flood of illegal crossings as an invasion. That label would actually give individual states the right to protect themselves and take action on their own. Texas Governor Greg Abbott just today tore into what he's calling President Biden's choreographed crisis. Everybody coming across the border, they pay money to the cartels to get across the border. If you are on the terrorist watch list, you pay more money so that you will not be apprehended. The president of the United States has one primary authority, in my opinion, and that is national security. He is endangering the United States every single day by having a porous border that is allowing people on the terrorist watch list to cross that border. And what the governor is saying is what I've been saying for a while. The cartels are an international mob operating in our own backyard. The president headed to Arizona just this week for a fundraiser. So the big question is, will he go to the border? Lawmakers there are demanding that he actually go see the crisis firsthand. Independent senator, used to be a Democrat, Kirsten Sinema says, I'm calling on him to visit the border to actually understand how our community shoulder the burden of his administration's failure to address this crisis. Another border state senator in focus right now. Texas Republican Ted Cruz, ranking member of the Senate Commerce Committee. He also sits on Judiciary and Foreign Relations. And this touches almost all of that now. Because as I call them, they are an international mob. Senator. Well, Harris, it's great to be with you. Thank you for having me. Uh, what is happening at our southern border is an unmitigated disaster. It, it, it is an invasion. We've seen now more than 7.6 million illegal immigrants come across this border since Joe Biden became president. It's the worst illegal immigration in our nation's history. And, and it is reaching crisis proportions everywhere, but especially Texas. Texas is bearing the brunt, and, and it's striking. We're now seeing Democrat mayors and Democrat governors all over the country declaring emergencies. We see people like New York Governor Eric Adams saying it is an emergency, saying that illegal immigration is destroying New York City. Now, that was with 110,000 illegal mm. immigrants in New York City, a city of 9 million people. Uh, if 110,000 is destroying New York City and is a crisis, what the heck does he think 7.6 million is doing to Texas and the other southern border states? Exactly. Senator, as you're speaking, I, I want to talk about what's happening live on the left side of everybody's screen, because this is unbelievable. This is Eagle Pass, Texas, and you know they put up, re-put re up. They've had to do it over and over again because Biden's administration keeps wanting them to take down what's working, and that's this razor wire. Um, and so the, at one point, Senator, they were putting kids through that, which would force our border agents, obviously they have hearts, they're going to cut that to let those babies come through. Well, now you see mostly grown men at the bottom yep. of the screen now. We've taken it full, full screen, and they're trying to come through that razor wire. Look, if we had a syndicate, a mob, operating inside one of our states, we've seen historically how we handle that. What can we, what should we, what must we do to go after the drug cartels that are, you know, a syndicate? basically yeah. on our side of the border. Look, the, the single best thing that ever happened to the Mexican drug cartels is Joe Biden becoming president. I'll give you an amazing statistic. In 2018, the Mexican cartels made from human trafficking $500 million. That's, that's a lot of money. And these are numbers from the New York Times, by the way. $500 million. You know what they made last year? They made $13 billion. That's a 2,600% increase. That is all because of Joe Biden. Joe Biden came in and declared we have open borders. He instructed the Border Patrol agents. They just, they do catch and release. When they apprehend someone, they release them. You've got Eagle Pass on the screen. Look, Eagle Pass is a wonderful community. It's a community mm -hmm. of about 28,000 people live in Eagle Pass. One day last week, they had in a single day 
4,000 people cross illegally into Eagle Pass. 4,000 people in a town of 28,000 people. That's about 14% of the city's population. To put that in context, if you had 14% of New York City's population come illegally into New York, Ooh. that would be 1,260,000 people in a single day. And Joe Biden and every congressional Democrat is responsible for this crisis. And even worse, they want it to happen and they want it to get worse. The policies they're putting in place are designed to make this crisis even worse. Uh, Senator, before I let you go, the, the term invasion yes. uh, has been popped, you know, into the conversation before, but now you want it for legal reasons. Immediately, what could you do? Uh, it, it is absolutely an invasion. An invasion allows you to defend yourself. But I'll tell you something striking. You, you played a minute ago uh, an interview with, with the Border Patrol chief, who, mm -hmm. whom I know well, and, and, and you've also many times interviewed Brandon Judd, who is the head of the okay. National Border Patrol Union, a good friend of mine. You know, when you talk to Jason, when you talk to Brandon, what they will tell you is the biggest thing that we need is a change in policy. The cause of this crisis is one thing, which is Joe Biden will not follow the law. Biden came into office and he inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. We, he inherited an incredible success, and he decreed, we're not going to deport people anymore. When we catch them, mm. we'll give them a court date sometime years in the future, and we'll just let them go. That is what causes this crisis. So it doesn't take anything magic. Biden could solve this problem tomorrow if he simply followed the law, but Joe Biden and the other congressional wow. Democrats, they don't want to solve the problem. Well, and if you have to declare an invasion to get the president to the United States just to follow the law, I mean, that is that yeah. is tough going. He's got to do it. Uh, yes. Senator, thank you for being in focus. And the whole time you've been talking, people have been throwing things to each other so that they can try to permeate and cut through that that razor wire. I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling to watch it. Horrific. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.